everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Blue Buff Gaming here, and today I'm playing some more Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So today we are doing an all abilities challenge. So I've done this before, but it was a long time ago, and I'm not quite sure what happened, but I feel like this is gonna be better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I didn't have as many abilities before. It was a long time ago, I know, so I'm gonna be trying it again. Also, we're probably on a harder map. Uh, we're doing it on Forest Homes, or Forest Home and Poppable. Uh, so as you can see, lots of modifiers, camo, reinforce, shield, ghost, lots of annoying. Uh, so our main uses, we have Sam with Phoenix, um, Phoenix Wand specifically. We have Flame Princess, also with Phoenix Wand. Ice King can't use it, by the way. Um, we have we have C4 Charlie with Moab, and technically speaking, we also have. Um, Moab Assassin if we choose to use it. We also do have a lot of these towers have the Gauntlet of the Hero, which is some nice abilities as well. Uh, pretty powerful, but pretty short term. We have um, Captain Cassie with another Moab. We have Ice King with his Wand of Disbursement. And finally we have PB with, um, what's it called exactly? It is Jelly Beans have power and then it is Soda and Mints. So we have all of those abilities, lots of pretty powerful stuff. Plus we have at least one Cobra, gonna be good. Pretty sure all these things can pop ghost balloons already. Um, not super positive, but I'm gonna assume they can. If that's an issue, it's an issue, but I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. Let's get into this. Hopefully we won't have much trouble. Uh, so the general idea is we want to have probably none, but realistically as little pops as possible to the towers, um, ignoring abilities. So like, we don't want them actually attacking much. Uh, so we're gonna try to reserve spots in all these like corners, tuck up them away in corners and things like that. Uh, so we're gonna start with a Phoenix Wand, as Phoenix Wand is pretty darn good. We might leak our 21 lives at the start here. I forgot I have that stone potion, but it might actually be super life-saving. Because uh, it might be enough for us to take the shout, and if not, then we're gonna lose. I don't think we have 21 lives here, and we do not get Phoenix Wand back up in time. That is doable. We had a split second there where Phoenix Wand could have saved us. This corner time now. Now we're going in this corner. I'm just gonna end up like changing our trinkets for like plus 1% ability cooldown. Uh, cause that's really close. If I spam this Phoenix Wand ability, we have the smallest chance of getting this off before we die thanks to these 21 lives. Yeah, we survived with one life a- oh no, really? This is so doable. I know for a fact that this is so doable. Last try, last try. <laughs> if this doesn't work, whatever, I'll just put down like, I don't know, I'll start with... I don't really know, I'll probably just put a tower down in range of the balloons for the little bit of a start here, but this is so close, I can tell this is doable. We lost by one life that last time, and with a closer tower, we're fine now, yeah. We have three lives remaining, so now we have a basically permanent Phoenix Wand. Which means, as long as our Phoenix doesn't really suck, we're pretty much immortal right now. Uh, so our next step would probably be going for Cobra, honestly. I forgot Auto Start is not off. Or is off, rather. Not is not off. Uh, so we're gonna go for Cobra. I don't think I have multiple, but I might. Uh, so if I do have multiple, obviously that would be great, but I don't think I do. Can I get this in the corner without touching that? Not really. So let's plop in the corner over here then. Works just as well. I saw a spot there. I know you can fit. Cobra, where'd you go? You go there, sure. Um, oh, actually, we do have multiple Cobras, and then we can do Monkey Farmer, which can go right there. And more Cobras, more money-making. Oh, right, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. <laughs> uh, that could have been pretty bad, so no, I actually have quite a few uh, Cobras here, which is nice. That means we'll get our money pretty fast. Uh, I was actually planning on this. I logged in today, and I saw it was deflation in the Martian game, so I'm like, oh, this is actually a really good challenge to try and deflation. We get to test it out in the Martian game, see how well it does there. And deflation lets us start with everything, so we don't have to worry about money making and all that stuff. And then I had the definitive realization that it was allies only. <laughs> which definitely made me feel pretty dumb, but it was the case, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? Also, we officially have all of our Cobras. That's a lot of Cobras, honestly. I did not think I'd have that many. That's a lot of money making. Uh, but with that, we have Double Phoenix and the first couple of the hero. Um, PB's expensive to get set up, so I'll probably go for the other two, or the other three that are just, like, place downs to get started, and eventually I'm gonna upgrade a Cobra as well. Uh, but hopefully this double Phoenix will be enough for now. C4 Charlie, you're gonna go in, and so are you, uh, Captain Cassie. This is gonna be horrible for, like, 
I'm gonna make my own thumbnail, because I'm just looking at this and I'm like, this does not look good. Like, looking at all these towers in the corner, it looks so weird. Uh, and I'm just picturing the thumbnail being them all, like, hiding in the bushes. Uh, but not that important. Uh, next thing up is Ice King. He can go over here. Sam's gonna have the choice between both of her elemental teachers. Ice King, I need you to fit. And you need to be not that big. Ice King, there we go. Uh, so then final up is, I believe, PB. I'm pretty sure that's literally it, which is kind of crazy already that we're down to just PB. We're on round 16. Uh, I really don't think this is going to be that bad. We have a double Phoenix Wand, which is going to hard carry with Cobras. That's pretty much four consistent Phoenixes, which is insane. Uh, we have multiple Gauntlets of the Heroes and Moaps to help support in, like, a couple times. And then plus the Wand of Disbursement. And then, obviously, we have PB's ability, which is going to be absurd damage as well. It's gonna be pretty crazy. I think we will be more than fine here. Uh, purple balloons! We just lost, and I can't continue, cause, uh... Didn't think about that. I was like, oh yeah, we have all- all ghost boom popping power, uh, oh right, purple balloons exist. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna see you when I get back to round 20, then. That really, really stinks, cause I have to do all of that again, including this, like, beginning that was really rough with Sly, or Sam, rather, but... Whatever. I'm back. It's only round 18, or round 19, I guess. We're like 30 seconds behind. I just wanted to point out, I have PB now. I have uh, Jelly Beans have power, so when Pokemon does show up, I actually am ready. Uh, I haven't gone for the Cobra's upgrade, so that's why I've been able to afford this in time. But I also have the realization, um, well, no, we actually hit that. I was gonna say from this. Uh, I have two Moax that I can use, technically, so I actually need to be sparingly, because I didn't realize there were more purples than this next round. So as soon as I'm about to lose, Moap time. And now, if I need another one, I'm in trouble. But I have PB's ability again. Who has camera protection? Please, just... Okay, that was kind of close. That was a little scary. Uh, definitely time to go for Cobra, like, cooldown stuff. We're very close. We're $200 away, so any second now we will have that. Which is going to be helpful here, because we're in a bit of a bad situation still. Um, there we go. Okay, so with that one, pretty good spot. We need 8,000 more dollars for soda and mints. And then we are maxed out. The Phoenix Bam can continue. Uh, I say we're maxed out. There's a chance I'm missing something. I do have Psy, so I probably will, like, with any extra money, I'll go for Psy cooldown things. That would be why the Moab's so nice. Um, no, I can go for Sabotage Supply Lines. Sabotage Supply Lines. Blah. I can go for that, so that's gonna be pretty helpful. And there's a possibility that some of the other towers I have here have abilities I could use. Um, theoretically, I could use Super Monkey, and it would still be all abilities only, or abilities only rather, but that feels a little more cheaty, so not sure I want to do that. <laughs> uh, we'll see, though. So it depends on how much money we have. Uh, we ha do have, like, five or six Cobras here, so we definitely might end up with a ton, but we won't necessarily, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, I would like to say right now, take this bit of an opportunity to say, Hey, you're still here. You're watching this video a decent ways through. Consider giving the video a like and subscribing to join the channel. I really do appreciate it. We're growing pretty quickly, and it's awesome. it would be awesome to have you guys here. So yeah, thank you. Uh, but yeah, back to this. Um, I really do think we're not going to be in that much trouble. The Moab is just my go-to for that. I'm like, nah, not chancing it with PB. Stupid missing, missing PP. PB. Uh, I actually do have a second more up here, which I'm going to need to use, because again, missing, missing PB. With all this stuff now, her ability comes back pretty quickly, but even still. Purple balloons are a little bit terrifying, because they're just so, I guess, particular into what I need for them. Seven. Zero out of seven. Zero out of one. See, I don't get this number. It's just glitchy with this ability. Normally it's zero out of two, now it's, then it was zero out of seven, now it's zero out of one again. That makes a lot of sense, I guess. Uh, as for Sam, PB, or FP rather, I don't think any of these really have towers I need. Uh, so I think I'm okay here. I mean, Ice King quickly double checking. Can I get his ability without lightning? I can, actually. So I will actually go for Monsters of Snow then. Not a super useful thing, but it is a possibility, so that's okay. I need Winterly Weather, and then I'm good, right? Yeah, Winterly Weather, and then I can go for Monsters of Snow. So that'll be pretty fun, uh, that should be pretty good, and then we can go for Sabotage Supply Lines, and then we're pretty much done. Again, possible I'm missing something, but I don't think so, pretty sure that's it. Uh, winter Weather will have a b b b b b No! Come on! 
I feel so stupid. I, I need to put this on slow-mo. The purple balloons, they really, really suck so much. I really wish there was a spike factory tower in this game, just so I could plop it at the edge of the map, make sure I don't lose, and be stupid like that. Because now, I have to restart. Again. Great, 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 great. Well, I'll see you in 40 rounds, I guess, because I was too stupid. Big, big stupid. Whatever. See you then. Hey, okay, I'm just about back where I was, and I still hate this. Purple balloon sucks so much. I'm having to use my MOREPs constantly. It's really, really stressful and I'm gonna lose for no good reason. And if I mess up, I'm doomed. I've already had to like exit out of the game to essentially cheat death like four times at this point. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of it. Really annoying. So you know what, Sai? Please tell me I can get your ability. So I need um, Mark for Death Tatsubishi. That's not that much actually. Tetsubishi and Savage Trust Supply Lines. How effective is this? Like, is it permanent or not really? I don't know how big of a difference it is. I'm just gonna spam it because essentially now, at least like half the time, roughly, uh, I just have this extra coverage. Uh, with this though, there's literally only one more ability I'd want and it's really not that good. Also, Sai, what are you doing? Stop putting Tetsubishi on the nothing. Uh, that's definitely a little weird looking. I'm still so paranoid, by the way, that purple balloons are just gonna come and ruin my day. We finally made it to a Moab. That took a while. There are purple balloons, but they're dying because PB's actually doing her job. Uh, realistically, with PB's ability, it's really not that bad. Uh, I actually did try, though. I tried using the Plasma Little Sam's Lich to see if that works with, uh, with the Phoenixes. Don't think it does. It's a possibility, but I don't think it does, which is too bad. Uh, cause that would have been really, 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 really helpful, but, uh, don't think that ended up working out. Um, evidently, since I've had to essentially restart, like, three times. And also back in the game four or five times. It's very, very, very annoying. Uh, but what are you gonna do? I think, though, now we're probably mostly in smooth sailing, I say, until I immediately mess up. PB, you can do this, right? You can do this, PB, you can do this! So that's actually a really good combo. The Sabotage plus PB's ability makes the fact that she misses a lot, especially the Fast Balloons, not nearly as big of an issue, which is a big deal. Uh, not a crazy big deal, but it definitely does help. Uh, I actually will probably get a second Cobra upgrade. I don't think it makes a difference, but... Well, no, I'm positive it doesn't make a difference, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just because why not? Why not? Uh, but yeah, once again, I'm gonna go for these Ice King upgrades, because there's no reason not to. Uh, am I missing something for this? Oh, I also need Hailstorm. Oh, okay, cool. I can do that. Uh, boom, boom, abilities. I need to remember, if I don't use my abilities, I die. Oh, I use a Cyclone. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. Sai has Missile. Oh. Does Sai have Missile? I don't know if Sai has miss. I'm very confused now. Okay, um... So I didn't mean to use the Shadow Clone. Technically, that's fine, by the way. Shadow Clone is an ability. I don't know why I'm freaking out about that so much. I used an ability in this ability-only challenge. Uh, so there's no real reason for me to be like, oh, what did I do? Okay, I need faster- I basically need everything except the Lightning Grate. Uh, Hailstorm. Then Monsters of Snow. Okay, so no, Ice King's totally doing damage. If things get to the exit, Ice King's gonna do some real damage. He already has, like, six pops. Um, which isn't that great, but could be worse. Fortified BFBs, right, this is a fortified challenge. I completely forgot that, like completely and utterly forgot that. Also, that reminds me, one more ability to use technically. We also need to upgrade C for Charlie to get boop, 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 and boop, mob assassin as well. All the abilities, all the fun. Uh, this is... This better be enough, that's honestly all I can say at this point. If this isn't enough, I'm gonna be really annoyed. We have so many strong abilities here, we really should be fine at this point. Uh, yeah, we do have missiles with size, so I unfortunately the challenge has failed. It's not abilities only, we have the additional one damage if a balloon ever makes it on screen. I mean, I know that for more class balloons it's 50, which is actually fairly significant, but at the end of the day, it'll still show up on size pop count. So, he's done 177 damage. 
PB has done at least 26,000, and Sam, it doesn't say anything because Phoenixes don't count. Uh, but my point is, it do it's not doing much. It's a very small, small, small percentage. Still sucks. Wish it wasn't the case. Uh, same thing can be said about Ice King's 6 damage. Doesn't really matter, but it's a thing, and that kind of sucks. Uh, what he does actually do, though, is means that at least Purple Bloom's going left. Uh, ultimately going left, I suppose. Uh, they're no longer a threat because I have Ice King to save the day and freeze them because he freezes basically anything that touches his radius, assuming it's not a Moab. Uh, so we're not on that much danger on that side anymore. Um, so that's kind of too bad. Um, but I suppose it could be worse. Like, we're not, we're not that bad of a situation. Not that many pops are being given to non-ability things. We're doing pretty much... We're doing a lot of damage. We have a lot of potential damage. This is Fortified ZMG. Pretty good test of our damage. How good are we doing here? We're doing pretty good. Though, to be fair, Sabotage wouldn't work on a bad balloon. Uh, but still, that's a pretty good sign considering I didn't even bother using, like, more of Assassin Cycling, which I can do. It's a little more difficult to do, but I certainly can do it. Oh, terrifying, 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 whatever happened there. Purple balloons, rapid fire, that's why Moab's nice. Just having that, like, panic button, red button, press the red button, everything goes away. Very, very helpful. Uh, very, very stressful, but very, very helpful, I suppose. Ooh, right, we also have four gauntlets of the heroes that, assuming they actually hit, because I think they're actually range-dependent, potentially, so... We'll see if they hit. Um, do actually do a lot of damage, too, so potentially that would be good for a bad balloon as well. Round 62 to 63, this is going pretty good. It's just so scary, honestly. Like, I'm using another more up here, because it's just terrifying. I also I also almost have the other one ready again, so that's kind of nice. But it's just really scary, seeing all this stuff. There's a lot of purple balloons here, especially... We don't have zombies, thankfully, because zombies turn into purple balloons. I didn't realize that until someone pointed it out to me. This makes graves way more terrifying, and zombie balloons way more irritating, but I suppose that's gonna happen. Zombie balloons are irritating no matter what, but the fact that they turn into, like, additional purple balloons sometimes, too, first of all, makes sense why there's so many zombie, like, so many balloons after the zombies, like, reawaken. Um, but at the same time, also makes sense why they're so much more annoying. Also, first Ghost ZMG, is this an issue? Ghost fortifies ZMG, great. Uh, doesn't look like it's much of a threat. I think Phoenixes are hard carrying here. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention this. I put treasure chest keys on pretty much everything. Not everything, everything, but pretty much everything. So we might actually get a few coins here, which would be really helpful, because I want to survive. That Ghost GMG actually made it pretty far, but it wasn't that bad, so we're mostly okay. Mostly. Uh, but no, that could have been worse. Uh, but yeah, so I am getting the occasional coins here, so that's pretty helpful. Hopefully that means that if we do mess up, I'll actually have enough coins to continue. Probably not, but hard to know. It's definitely a possibility. Are we alive here? Are you good, PB? Can you handle the purple balloons while they're slowed down at less than half speed? Yes? Good. Oh, can you not? Now that they're not half speed, you actually can't, which is really scary, but... I mean, I know PB's ability also wore it off, but there was no way she was handling that normally. Okay, we're sort of good now, but we only have one more up again, so you actually have to do your job, PB. Okay, cool. We're alive. That's- that's something. Certainly something. Uh, I don't actually think there's any more purple balloons, though, so that's kind of nice. That's- that's nice. At least, you know, no more purple balloons till, until the bad balloons. So really, all the threats in this challenge are all purple. Uh, what are you gonna do? Purple is, after all, the color of power and lots of other things, too. Purple really is a weird color. It has so many weird symbolisms. It's like royalty, it's power, and then there's also a few other ones that I'm not quite sure about. I know there are more. Um, do... whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say there. Actually, I do know what I was gonna say there, even though that made no sense, because I literally just said whatever. Um, feel free to leave a comment saying like, hey, you did some research, this is what purple means, according to blah blah blah, or in blah 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 language, or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. I don't need to, obviously, but that would be a cool idea if you guys feel like doing that. Also, we are safe! We are finally saved! I'm gonna turn auto start off just so I can be extra safe here. Um, I think I'm okay. I'm just gonna... I was gonna say I'm just gonna spam Phoenix Wand, but no! Of course there's a horde of purple balloons at the end of round 74. Of course there is. Because they're jerks! Ultimate, ultimate jerks! Slow down, slow down, slow down. Moab! 
Not taking our chance though, that's way too late. I refuse to lose to purple balloons on round 74. That would really suck. Really, really suck. Okay, there we go. I'm mostly ready. I want to have C4 Charlie. Okay, I, I know where he is. Just in case I need it. I don't think I will, but if I do, I want to have the ability to say, yeah, I need it. I'm going to use it. Okay, out of curiosity, any of these hitting him? Um, maybe? I believe two of them are hitting him, so that's something, I guess. Uh, keep the damage fan going. I think I'm gonna try to use it without the missiles, unless I think there's really like, oh, we're not making it. Because I have the MOAP, I can pretty much one-shot the DTs and stuff underneath, so I don't need to do that much damage up front. So that's why I'm gonna try to do it like this. If I don't think we're making enough progress, like if it turns this, like, this, this bend over here and it's still not dead, at that point I'm gonna start spamming missiles, just in case I need to. But it looks like we're probably gonna be okay. I mean, like, we have a lot of damage here. All sorts of powerful effects here. We can do slowdown, all this crazy stuff, all these powerful abilities, just fortified ZMGs, ordinary fortified ZMGs, and I believe we are fine. That was still, t I'm s like, in my mind, I'm like, they're gonna turn right for no good reason. They're gonna break the rules of the map and turn right, and I'm gonna lose. Fear, a, a lot of fear towards this challenge. It's scary, relying on abilities is scary. Not a fun position to be in. Uh, but hey, we won, so that's awesome. Hopefully that was worth it, because... <laughs> oh, that was very, very stressful. Hey, and we're also above a thousand coins, so if we did lose, I would have had a safety net. Always nice to have that. I'm sure I'm gonna blow it immediately next time I do a video on this game, but still, that's something. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Consider giving the video a like, once again, if you enjoyed and subscribing. Uh, also, leave a comment if you have any game suggestions, video suggestions, challenge suggestions, I don't know. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Nice to talk to you guys as well. So yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!